Storms Tuck Channel here, and today I'm being a video about Beast Infinite. So I'm on FreshBalance.com here. So it says here this debuts iPhone 14 for Beast Infinite postpaid service. So Beast Infinite now has the iPhone. So that is great news for customers because it gives customers a choice between Android or iPhone now on Beast Infinite, and it gives a better chance of Beast Infinite to succeed in the long run. Because now the iPhone is not on their service and the iPhone is very popular. So it gives customers choices. So it's good for both parties involved. It's good for Boost Infinite and it's good for customers. So um, let's go ahead and check this out here. It says hey, it's been a rough week, month, and year for this network. So its ability to sell the iPhone 14 with the postpaid Boost Infinite service may be a bit of a break. Announced on Friday, the Boost Infinite offer now is included in Infinite Plus subscription for fifty dollars a month, which includes which includes unlimited talk, text, and data. It's also for the first time offering the iPhone 14 on us with the device trading. New customers can sign up for the Boost for the Boost on for the Boost unlimited plus service at the Boost Infinite website. The device trade-in is done online and through a shipping process since Boost Infinite is primarily an online service versus being sold in physical stores. Here's a quote from Jeremy McCart, the head of Boost Infinite, and he says, quote, we developed Boost Infinite to provide an outstanding customer experience and remaining full value to our members while keeping things simple and straightforward. And quote, then he goes on to say, now with the introduction of the Infinite Plus, we are offering the best option for our members to get iPhone 14. We are excited to add iPhone 14 to our lineup with an impressive camera system, incredible battery life, and vital safety capabilities, end quote. The Infinite Plus Offer is different from the infinite. Is different from the infinite, unlimited package, and that the latter does not include North American or or international connection plans or access to special phone offers. Uh, this shares were down more than nine percent at one point. On Friday, trading around six dollars and seventy-two cents, which is surprising. This stock has been fucking shit the whole, pretty much the whole year since they had that cyber attack back in March. So this has been going downhill ever since, and losing customers and all that. So uh, I'm not surprised that this stock is still low. So they better tighten up. It says here. It says here. Uh, Earlier this week, S and P Global announced changes to its it changes to its indices, resulting in this network falling off the S and P 500 and being reassigned to the S and P Small Cap 600, effective June 20th. Says in March, this suffered a cyber attack that ended up costing it around 30 million dollars, and it's been hit with investor lawsuits. Plus, it's facing a deadline to come up with. $3.5 billion to buy 800 megahertz spectrum from T-Mobile or pay a penalty as $2 million to T-Mobile. So this better tighten the hell up. And they also had to have their 5G network covered 70% of the U.S. by June 14th. We'll see if they make that deadline or not. We will wait and see. So this better tighten the hell up. Boost Mobile versus Boost Infinite. If you guys wanna if you guys want the quick answer for that, Boost Mobile is prepaid, Boost Infinite is postpaid. So let's continue. It says this has been offering prepaid service through Boost Mobile, but Boost Infinite is its postpaid brand, which this views as the as the more profitable as the more profitable model. It's been working for more than a year to get the postpaid brand ready for wide scale commercial rollout. It says this chairman Charlie Ergen, uh, uh he said during a uh, during the company's quarter one 2020 earnings call in uh, May, 
that offering the iPhone is important and it will be very difficult to be successful in the price paid business without it. So he is right. Uh, you who had to offer the iPhone because uh, the iPhone is very popular and it gives customers choices between the Android or iPhone. So they would have to offer the iPhone to be successful in the price paid space. So that's good news for Boost Infinite though. It's good for both parties, the customers and Boost Infinite. So I see where uh, Charlie Ergen is coming from from that. He is definitely right and he hit it right on the head with that statement. So 100% true there. It says it's worth noting that the iPhone 14 currently being offered through Boost Infinite isn't using this as own 5D standalone network. A DISH spokesperson told Fierce, quote, the iPhone is not currently certified for our network, but we are working very closely with Apple to enable device support later this year, end quote. Then they go on to say here, quote, the iPhone for Boost Infinite will currently be supported on one of our nationwide 5G network partners, end quote. Since this has mobile, this has MBNO deals with both T-Mobile and, and AT&T, and it expects to rely on those arrangements until it's able to serve all its customers with its own voice-based service. Says so, hey, Dave Mayer, this EVP of network development, said last month that he's confident this will meet its deadline to offer its 5G network to 70% 70, 70 of the US by June 14th. Like I said, we will, we will have to wait and see about that. This will meet its deadline to offer its own 5G network to 70% of the US by June 14th. Okay. I told that totally screwed that up. It says her uh, this expects to launch its 5G voice over new radio services in the rest of its markets in the second half of 2023. So we'll see if this meets its uh, deadline of 70% coverage of its 5G network by June 14th. But we will have to wait and see about that. So, uh, yeah, Boost Infinite is now offering the iPhone 14, which is good news for Boost Infinite because they, they, because it can be make, because it can make them successful in the long run, because they have to give customers choices between Android or iPhone to be successful, because um, not because people want to have choices. People like iPhone, people like Android. Some some people might like both. Um, you know, but both sides of the uh, OS, you know, some people want, some people just want an iPhone, and Boost Infinite will now have the iPhone 14 available. So check that out. Uh, like I said, this is great for Boost Infinite, so they can be successful long term, and it's also good for customers because it gives customers uh, more choices to choose from and stuff like that. So it's a win-win for both the customers and Boost Infinite. So I'll uh, check it out if you guys are interested. Um, the iPhone 14. Um, I think they're selling the uh base model in terms of, like the storage and stuff. So um, I don't know what uh model they're selling. I know they're selling the iPhone 14, but I think they're selling the base storage model. So keep it in mind. So you can get it with the uh device trade-in and stuff like that. And they also got like new plans and stuff like that. So check that out. Um. So uh. Yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It helps me out a lot. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I will catch you guys in the next. Um. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.